Good morning, everybody. Here I am at a really big yard sale. I'll show you guys overview, but we are at a mall every year. Locally, there's this really huge community yard sale at a mall parking lot. And I wanted to take you guys along and see what I can find. Um, hopefully I can find some really good stuff. I'm excited last year. Well, there wasn't one last year, but the year before I actually found a ton of great stuff. So I'm hoping that this year proves to be just as lucrative, but we'll see. And I'm gonna take my GoPro this time. So join me you guys and let's find some treasures. So right away, I noticed a trend of having not so great brands, a little overpriced. I was still hopeful because, you know, sometimes it happens, people set up their booth, they get a little excited, they put really basic brands up and they think it'll sell for, you know, $10, $20 each. These shoes were around $10 each and none of them were brands that I would resell personally. So passing on a lot of this stuff that I initially see for obvious reasons. Oh, hi. Thank you. Yes, I am. I'm Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm Gucci hat. It's a series. I'm like, garage selling in a Gucci hat. I'm going to keep it going saw a lot of cosmetics liquidation over here. I have dabbled in it, it's not my favorite thing, so I did pass on it. And then I saw some really good name brand shoes, Uggs and Hunters, but they wanted around $70 to $80 per pair, so I passed on that. This jacket tricked me for a second because it looked like a Canada Goose just from afar, but no, it's a Steve Madden, so pass. <laughs> yes. I'm a very big deal. No. That's so nice. I recognize you by your hat. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I should have worn it, but I'm like, a new series. Get a Gucci hat. I have to do it. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> They had some cool vintage tees at this one, but some jackets you see, very basic ones for $20. They wanted really high prices again, so these aren't brands I would resell anyway. I did pass on them. I came across these Alice in Wonderland vans, which I wanted to pick up, but these were priced at $20, and they were in pretty rough shape as it is, so I did pass on those. Maybe I could have haggled them down, but with the shape they were in, I didn't really want to. This was the first time I was seeing some decent brands like J. Crew, Nordstrom, a few of those kinds, but as you can see from the price tags, again, we are at in the $20 to $40 range, way too high for me to resell. More vintage tees or graphic tees, I don't even know if these are vintage and just, I don't know enough about vintage to <laughs> pick these up, so I did pass on them. Wouldn't be a yard sale without some fake designer purses. This is a Fuji purse. <laughs> I swear I see these every single Saturday. How much is yeah, actually? <laughs> I got lucky with a few. Some stuff I paid up for though. Yeah, these are pretty sick. Yeah. Got those for 15. Yeah. Nice. I paid like 60 for these, so they go for like 160. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, nice. Yeah. Is that Pendleton? Wait, is this jacket no, here? No, it's Woolrich. Oh, Woolrich, that's yeah. so good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you are. You it's killed weird. it. Anyway, it was good to see you, Austin. Good to see you, <laughs> Always good to run into you. I know. <laughs> Austin did tip me off that I'd probably like some things at this sale. He did already pick up quite a few items, but I was able to kind of find a few things left over, like these Prada shoes. I actually did not pick those up. Older Prada, Kitten Heel Prada, does not sell that great for me. However, I did find these kind of cool vintage shoes. I had not heard of this brand before. I looked up comps and they looked pretty decent, so I grabbed them. Then I spotted some Justin boots. I've sold Justins before in the Chukka style or the moccasin style, and they sold really well, so I did grab those. Five, the hats are five. Okay. So 15, um, 20, 25, 30, 45, and then 10 for the Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, what, how Which much? The size is on the other side. How much were you wanting for these? They're, I'm not gonna lie, they're an expensive brand. Sure. Um, but 
fifty dollars things. They are brand new. I've never worn them. Gotcha. Yeah. Outside of that retail. They're cute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so these won't even sell on eBay for $50. So we weren't even in the same realm, so I did pass. Okay, back at the car with my tiny haul. I was very disappointed in this, you guys. I think I was so desperate I picked up things that maybe I wouldn't normally. But I also make a really good profit. I just was so bummed out. There were just not a lot of great things. Luckily, that one tent had some good stuff. But other than that, I really didn't find anything. That was an absolute bust. <laughs> You guys, uh, I'm really disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in this yard sale. I The problem is, and this happens a lot, people way overvalue their stuff. And unfortunately, I would came in thinking it would be like last time where these were more yard sale prices. Unfortunately, these were not yard sale prices and people wanted crazy. I mean, I don't want to, I know, go out and get yours right i am all for the hustle go for it but again and again to see <laughs> way overpriced stuff i mean i i even paid up too much for the stuff that i got which is fine i'll still make a really good profit but like it's just you know it's a bummer when you're going into something hoping for yard sale prices and hoping that it's good and then it's not i think what i'm going to do is head to another yard sale because i'm itching to find some good stuff and i feel like I've not only let myself down, I've let you guys down. And I can't allow that. So let's go see what we can find. If there's anything I've learned over my years of doing this, it's I do tend to trust my map and my plan really well and should have made more of a map and a plan. I kind of assumed I'd be here all morning, but I was only here for about an hour. I didn't make much of a plan the rest of the day, but it's okay. I'm gonna look up some stuff. I had some backups. So I might I might hit up another another sale, another fundraiser. We'll see. Yeah, it's a little a little disheartening for sure. I know some people might see money here. I personally don't. I don't sell a lot of kids toys. I don't sell a lot of decor. And a lot of this looked pretty not good with quality. So I was immediately like, all right, looks like we are hitting up another kind of a dud. Looked through some of the books. I did scan, like you see those nursing books. I did scan those. Any textbooks I see that I think could sell well, I do scan, but unfortunately none of those were worth money to resell. The shoes are where I got lucky. I scanned through some of those and found this pair of Allen Edmonds up there, so I had to reach across and get it. Most of the shoes were just not really worth reselling, but those up there, I do like selling Allen Edmonds. They tend to sell pretty well for me. These are the Del Rey Men's Split Toe, and I was able to actually, when I got home, I did clean them up and they look pretty nice. So I'm, I'm pretty kind of hopeful for that. These Kohlhan Grand Pro tennis shoes were just a dollar. There are the Kohlhans. These were just one dollar. And then I did pick up some Adidas Neos. These should sell for like 25. And then the Allen Evans are right here. So not super bad, but among all that stuff, that's all that I could find that was worth selling. Okay, unfortunately, that wasn't much better, but I do have one more fundraiser yard sale I'm going to go to. And this one doesn't start until 10 o'clock, so I'll be there right on time. Hopefully that will make a difference. Otherwise, today was kind of a bust, you guys. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. I'm I'm enraged as well. Uh, it's fine. Honestly, and it, and it could just be my own fault for not getting up early enough. I've been really tired and having a lot of like Braxton Hicks contractions, which I know is normal. But it's just a little uncomfortable and it's been harder and harder to go about my day and I still have two months to go. So that's going to be interesting as summer progresses. But crossing my fingers, this next one is really, really good though. First up, didn't see a lot out front. It was a cool fundraiser yard sale. I was there right on time, which was great. Not a lot of brands that I personally would resell in the front, but when I went inside, that's where things got a little bit more exciting. You can see $20 for a Dolan Anthropology dress. It's not great. Prices were a little high, but they were willing to negotiate with me. So I grabbed anything that was reasonably priced and put them in my arms and hoped for the best that they would come down in price with the things that I thought could resell really well.
like these Lululemon jackets, which are down jackets. I love selling the down jackets. They are expensive on the site and they sell for a lot. So even though these were priced high by the runners of this sale, I was hoping that they would come down in price. And luckily they did, spoiler alert. These shoes were pretty good. Again, nothing I would really resell, was too excited about. So, same with this rack here. Nothing too exciting, so I did pass, but I did find some more good stuff on the shelves over behind me. Really excited to see this Patagonia fleece. I have only picked up a Patagonia reversible snap tee once and it sold really quickly. So excited for that. And then again, this Lululemon jacket, really cute. Love selling Lululemon jackets. They generally sell really well for me and really quickly, no matter what the season. Then over here, we had some designer sunglasses. I didn't have my camera angled right, but you can see my reflection. <laughs> there are a pair of Chanel sunglasses with the case on the side and the price was $70. Again, it was something I grabbed hoping that I could negotiate down a little bit, but they were really pretty and authentic from what I could tell. So grabbed those again, hoping for the best that they'll come down in price. Okay guys, thankfully I ended it with a great sale. I showed you some of the prices in there. There were high, but they were willing to negotiate and they came down quite a bit for me because I bought a lot and I'm really excited to show you what I got. I think I got some really good stuff. Really nice Lululemon, Chanel sunglasses. I'm so glad that I stopped at this last one. I was ready to give up, but I ended up scoring pretty well. So let's get this stuff home. I will show you what I got. I'll show you what I paid and maybe I'll have some time to get some stuff listed as well. So I'm glad you guys stuck it out with me. I'm glad I stuck it out too, because it ended up being very worth it. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna download with you guys everything that I got. I got some really good stuff, especially at that last sale. Probably the highlight are these Chanel sunglasses. This is my first time ever finding Chanel and picking it up. Super exciting. Let me show you what they look like. These are the quilted polarized Chanel sunglasses. Oops, I gotta be so careful with them. I did not pay they what they wanted. <laughs> they were asking quite a bit at this yard sale. I saw a lot of really good stuff though. And I had asked them, are you guys willing to negotiate in price? And they said, yes. So I picked up everything that I kind of wanted that was at least priced within reason. And then they brought it down an additional percentage. So I ended up only paying around $10 per item. The Chanel glasses I paid around $40. So $10 per item, I mean, average. Again, some things in there I'll sell for like $25. Some things I'll sell for close to 200. The Chanel glasses should sell for around $275. Those are some comps that I'm seeing. I also have this Gucci bracelet and I paid $300 for everything. So today's yard sale totals are around $350 for everything that I got today. And as I go through, let me add up with you what I think it will sell for. Some of you might wonder, you know, why Ashley do you stick to clothes when there's like electronics, there's all kinds of other things. I do pick up electronics. I pick up anything that'll make me money. However, my inventory system now in my eBay business is kind of set up for clothing, shoes, and accessories. And that's what makes it the easiest to list and to sell, ship. I have everything equipped for that. Plus it's a lot of my knowledge base at this point and it's what I'm comfortable selling. I do still sell, I mean, I've sold so many electronics, you guys, video games. I always sell video games. I have a big stack behind me actually that I need to sell and list on Amazon. So I will pick those up as they come, but it's now more in my wheelhouse to just sell clothing, shoes, accessories primarily. And I only, seek out electronics when I find them for a really good deal, or I know it'll sell for a lot of money. Things like desktop scanners, video games and consoles, which again, sometimes are just priced too high to be reasonable. I don't really do VCRs and DVD players, uh, just because a lot of times they're broken and testing them is a little bit of a hassle. So again, with clothing, shoes, accessories, I don't really have to test it. I bring it home, I might have to clean it up a little bit, but then that's the extent of my repair or testing. And so I just have found for me, I just enjoy selling these things. Doesn't mean I'll say no, but you'll notice that at yard sales, I do tend to 
go towards that. Books I do love selling. I don't mind selling textbooks. I love picking up textbooks. I'll scan them. I'll look through. You guys saw at my other yard sale, I picked up a bunch of manga books, manga books, and those sold great. Like the first day they sold really, really quickly. But again, I just, at this point, I would rather just have things that easily fit into my current inventory system and my current wheelhouse with selling than to go too far out of my bubble too often. Okay, let me just show you guys what I got. Aside from these Patagonia snapbacks, which I did wash actually uh, this afternoon, and they're still looking a little, they have a little bit of dinginess, but I still think they'll sell just fine. Like I said, I, I paid $350 for everything here, and now I'm gonna add up what I think it could sell for. I think I can get around $25 for each of these hats. These Spanx camo leggings, I think I can get 30 to 35 dollars for them we'll see and then just some very basic lululemon wonder unders these are full length and i think they're the wonder unders i might have to check they are solid black these should sell for around 40 to 50. this is a free people vegan suede jacket with like kind of a cool zip detail on the sleeve here and comps for this look to be really good actually anywhere from 75 to 90 dollars so i love selling free people jackets they just sell really really great for me um a very basic patagonia tee <laughs> i couldn't resist this probably won't sell for more than 15 dollars, but i thought it was a fun print this is a lululemon poncho it's like a rain poncho and this should fetch, I'm looking at some comps and it should fetch around $75, but we'll see. It's more of a rare item for sure. Here's that North Face coral full zip women's jacket. I'm expecting to sell this for around $35. This is a brand new Lululemon paste setter skirt. This should sell, should sell for around 50 to 60 since it is new. These are some, I had a couple pairs of these. These are some Lululemon, they're kind of like gaucho pants. I'm trying to remember, I have sold a pair just like this in the past and I cannot for the life of me remember what it was called. So hopefully by the time I edit this, I will have it on the screen here. But I think, I want to say I sold a, this same kind of pant for $50 last time. And I have a couple of them, like I said, and I'll pull the other one out in a sec. This is just a very simple All Saints tee, which I thought was just really simple and cute. This, These are two Intimately Free People dresses, like lace trim slip dresses, or sorry, crochet hem slip dresses. One in like a rust coral and this one in a white. And I am I see like sold comps around 30 to 40 for these each, so that's exciting sometimes free people has you can find the style number inside it'll have like a little ob at the bottom ob into some numbers and you can find the style that way i'll just have to look this up but this is like a little slip tunic dress uh, things like this in the past have sold for around 25 to 30 dollars so hoping to get that this is a free people linen like a woven linen top linen sells really well for me so i do enjoy picking it up for sure lululemon gaucho style pants <laughs> and uh, again i will look up what the heck these are called exactly but in a good size and the last time i sold them that was around 50 dollars. this is a vince yellow blazer in excellent condition i like selling vince because it is really high end the retail price is always crazy doesn't always match sold comps but this seemed really nice here is a lululemon jacket with like a Kind of like a silky ruffle, like a ruffle hem. It's black and in really good condition. I'm hoping, again, I'm gonna have to look up style names for all of these, but hoping around $50 for this. And then just a very simple Free People black denim jacket. And it's in also really good condition. Again, maybe 40 to 50 for this. This is a Patagonia multicolor fleece with the, with the diamond pattern on it. I know patterned Patagonia fleeces go for a lot. I'm going to have to look up exact comps, but I am hoping to get 50 bucks for this. Really, really cool. If I don't keep it myself, <laughs> a Lululemon V-neck, very simple V-neck, probably 20, $25 for this. This is a Lululemon down jacket. This should sell really well 
probably over a hundred dollars. Um, I love selling the, the down jackets, the full zips, the winter jackets, they sell really well. This is a standard James purse hoodie. It does have a little bit of wear here, but standard James purse has always sold. I might be able to actually even sew that and repair it, but has always sold very fast for me. Really cute. Hoping to get around $30 for this. Patagonia knit hat, wool, yeah, wool winter hat with the ear flaps. Uh, maybe 20, 25 bucks for that. This is a Tumi laptop sleeve. I love selling Tumi. I'm hoping to sell this, you know, pick this up for just five bucks. Hoping to sell it for around 30, 35 maybe, we'll see. These were a surprise. These are some Allen Edmonds. I picked it up at that fundraiser sale and they're in pretty good condition. I do need to probably polish them up, maybe do some edge dressing on the side, but these will clean up real nice. Allen Edmonds is not selling quite like it used to, but well, it depends on the style. Comps for split toe, probably around 50 bucks, but we'll see, not bad for four. This is a brand I had not heard of before. This is called Fanolaire, and comps actually look really good on eBay, and they are in really good condition. So I'm hoping to sell these for around, I don't know, 40 bucks? I'm gonna have to look up comps more, but they look really unique and different, which is always good on eBay. Um, these are some Justin Moccasin kind of chucka boots. They are steel toe. Hoping to sell these for around 40 bucks plus shipping. These are just some very simple Adidas Neo blue suede shoes. And I have sold these in the past. Um, probably I'll get 25 bucks out of these. Not bad for $3. And then last but not least, these are some Kohan Grand Pro. They do need to be, you know, I'll put some leather lotion on them to kind of clean that up a little bit, but they are in good condition and they were just $1, so I couldn't resist. Hoping to get, again, maybe $25 to $30 for these. Maybe more if I can clean them up real nice. So I do have actually two more pairs of sandals <laughs> that are somewhere. I have a pair of Tory Burch sandals. My husband took the car, so I can't show you. <laughs> but I have some Tory Burch sandals and some Tory Burch flip flops as well. Um, this is the Gucci bracelet and then the Chanel sunglasses. I'm so excited about these. And then I almost forgot, this is a Lululemon. It's not the pack it down jacket cause I actually have that one for myself. I'm gonna have to look up exactly what this is, but it is really pretty, really, I love again, it's goose down. This could sell for $150 to $200. We'll see, depending on comps and if I can figure out what it's called. <laughs> That's usually the hardest part with Lululemon. Okay, sorry to use all these different cameras because <laughs> my phone keeps running out of memory and batteries keep running out. Anyway, I add up everything here that I have from the yard sale for what I think it will sell for, plus or minus, of course, a few dollars. And my total is $1,850. It depends again on what it'll sell for. I don't know how quickly this will all sell, but considering I paid only $350 for everything, that brings me to $1,500 minus 10% for eBay fees. So if you take out eBay fees, that's another $1,350. That brings me to $1,350. I would say easily there's a thousand dollars of profit here. So I'm so glad I went to that last sale. I'm so glad I didn't give up. As you guys know, it was rough going for a second there. I was really discouraged, but I'm really glad that I went this morning. If you guys want to do the same thing, especially with yard sales and garage sales, I do have a guide linked in my description down below where I talk about how I find the best sales. I didn't have as much of a plan as I usually do, to be honest, but I still was able to luckily find some really good stuff. And in that guide, I do talk about all kinds of brands I look for descriptors I look for, a map I make. It's very detailed and it's, again, it's in the link in the description. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was really fun to take you along today. Give me a comment down below of your favorite yard sale find that you have had recently or your favorite find in general. And I just love hearing updates from all of you on how things are going. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks again, you guys. I appreciate you. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps out my channel a lot. As always, take care and I will catch you next time.